guys. I am coming to you with a couple of, uh, I guess this is kind of a haul. <laughs> Yesterday when I went grocery shopping at Fred Meyer, they also have clothing. And so I ended up purchasing three dresses. Um, one was $5 and the other two were $17.99. So not bad. And we've got kind of head honchos coming next, well, when I return to work. Um, so this is the first dress that I got. This was $17 and this is kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit longer in the back and shorter in the front. I probably will wear it with tights of some sort um, just because, well, my legs are stark white with it being just the end of winter. So anyway, um, that is, is the first one. All right, back with dress number two. This is the exact same cookie cutter design as the last dress, just a different print. Um, you can see that it's basically got little white diamonds all over it. This one, strangely, even though it's the same size, fits differently on my body. It's a little bit looser right here, and I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Um, I think this one is a little bit more, oh, I guess formal compared to the green one. The green one I feel like fits better, but this one is um, definitely more conservative. Again, longer in the back than in the front. I suppose I would probably wear tights with it. Um, I do need to figure out a shoe situation. I don't have very many shoes at this time. And so. Probably that will be a goal today, but that is dress number two. Again, Fred Meyer, and I believe it was $17. On All right, and <laughs> this is number three. Obviously, I would never wear this on its own. Um, this, as someone who's six feet tall, basically ends up looking like a t-shirt on me. So obviously, I would wear some jeggings or <laughs> something of that nature with this but anyway I thought this was really pretty um the material is certainly less formal than the other two this was the five dollar pick and I've never owned a yellow piece of clothing in my life and so um but I really like it <laughs> um it's really soft and uh yeah, I mean, I don't think that the silhouette is too crazy, and I think if I wore it with some pretty opaque leggings, I think I could probably get away with it. And then this is just an old sweater of mine that um, actually shrank last time I washed it in the washing machine. Um, so, yeah, definitely not dress material, but that's what it's intended to be. And unfortunately, I'm six feet tall, <laughs> and so anything that is remotely short is going to end up being, you know, short on me. Um, and so, yeah, I've got some choices, I guess. Um, so out of those three, tell me, guys, which is your favorite? Do you, um, if you were me, what would you wear um, if you knew that somebody important was coming to your workplace? in a new area that's close to our house and it has this little colorful path sort of in the middle it's pretty interesting not sure who did it or why there's things written all over the rocks not sure even what some of it says Obi, Ted, Ted and Vicky Moon, a little rainbow, a labyrinth for walking prayer. Okay, okay. Little ornaments in the trees and ribbons and yarn. Vegas strong. So I have got yarn things hanging out of the trees. Alright, dinner is 
is pretty much a redo or a repeat of what I had last night. Um, making Hubby some noodles to go with his. But in here we have some of the Bertoli Alfredo sauce to which I had added some ground lamb. This time, or tonight, I added some baby spinach and some remaining black olives that I've had from the pizzas that we've had recently. Um, in the air fryer, I have another spaghetti squash, so I'll be having spaghetti squash with this over it, and Hubs will have this over noodles. 